everyone, this is Creeptanium, or CT for short, and I am doing a Minecraft video of tips and secrets. So you may notice first is that uh, my new skin, I have changed into my summer skin. So I have some short sleeve shirts, got some shorts, and I have sunglasses. And in this Minecraft tips and secrets episode, we will be experimenting with some special name tags. So if we have there in this ordinary chest, we have some name tags, some spawn eggs, and a bone. You may be wondering what all this is about. Well, these five name tags that I want to show you. We have Grum, Dinner Bone, Jeb underscore, Toast, and Johnny. They may look like totally insignificant names, but actually, they unveil Easter eggs hidden in the game. So, the first name tag that we will be experimenting with is Grum. Let's get some test mobs. We have a creeper, chicken, not toast, cave spider, evoker, parrot, let's try a magma cube, and a shulker. So looky here, your ordinary creeper. All green, scary looking, creepy face. Well, all that changes when you name him Grum. Are you ready? He flips upside down. And you can still move. His feet move like they would on ground. But he's flipped on his head. That's strange, isn't it? Let's let's try it with these. These test mobs. Got ourselves a chicken, cave spider, poker, parrot. Shulker. Wait. Was that the shulker? Or was that the parrot? And a magma cube. Oh, he's so cute. Alright, let's name them all. Alright, you, sir, are Grum. Oh, the parrot wants to go first. You are Grum. Wow. Oh, you're flying upside down. You, sir, you are Grum as well. Mr. Evoker, you're Grum. Right down there. That was it. Where are you, Mr. Chicken? You are Grum as well. Let's see what happens if you name a Shulker Grum. Oh, look at the cool spiral on the bottom. Oh, hello. Are you suffocating? Alright, Mr. Magma Cube. You're Grum. Actually, uh, it doesn't look that different. Alright, moving on. We have Dinner Bone. Some of these may sound familiar to you. I will go through all of them. So, what's the significance of Dinner Bone, you may be asking? Well, it's the exact same as Grum. It's just a different coating. I don't know why. Grum and Dinner Bone do the same thing. They flip stuff upside down. So, just a little secret. You can either use Dinner Bone or Grum. Me, I like to use Grum, mainly because it's easier to type. Alright, let's move on to Jeb underscore. This may be my favorite. Let's put away these test mobs, because it only works on one certain mob, which would be the sheep. Look at this. Are you ready? Sheep. I have here, sir. Mr. Sheep, come back. I have this name tag for you. You know what the Jeb underscore name tag does? It turns any sheep rainbow. He magically goes through colors. It's so magical. It goes from gray to yellow to orange to red. It's so cool. So yeah, but the problem is... Let me get the shear for a second. The problem is that when you shear your sheep, let's say you died... You, you named a white sheep Jeb, and he's green, or whatever color you want. So you're like, oh, I want yellow wool, or this wool, and so you shear him, but he gives you white wool back. So no matter what you name him, white sheep, he's purple, it still gives you white wool. So, let's 
burning. Oh well. So. Where's my chest? Here it is. So that's a cool thing with Jeb underscore. Now, moving on, we have Toast. Now, Toast only works on a rabbit. And it has a texture that is not used in the game. There we go. It's all sort of like black and gray striped. So it is modeled after, I guess, one of the Minecraft coders' pet rabbit. And so he went missing or something. So he turned one of the rabbits' default, not default skin, Easter egg skin, into his own rabbits. So it's a pretty cool fact. We want a different colored rabbit than all the rest. Finally, we've moved on to Johnny. He, not he, it only works on vindicators. Observe. Your standard grumpy vindicator. Until you named him Johnny, he will attack all mobs except, I'm thinking, uh, evokers and other vindicators. Observe. Oh. Okay, that's a little weird. So you can use these Johnny Vindicators for mob, mob farms. Good job. So yeah, you can uh, set up one of your typical mob grinders, put a bunch of these guys in the bottom, and when the mob drops down, he will get out his axe, kill everything in sight, including you. So, that's actually pretty cool. Now, here comes the ultimate test. We are going to name a wolf Grum. Now we're going to have our pet upside down dog. Or, um, we might have to get rid of this guy. Alright, I have here my diamond sword. Johnny! Ooh, we dropped an emerald. Alright, I have here my wolf, and I get... And I give him a bone. Well, a few bones, actually. So now I have my perfectly lovable dog. And now I'm going to name him Grum. Ah, this is what I wanted to test. What would happen when your dog sat down when he's upside down? That looks so weird. Ugh. That is strange. Hello. You okay down there? Ah, uh, he's doing sit-ups. Or, more like reverse sit-ups. So now I have my pet grum dog. <sighs> oh yes, and all these guys. So hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. You have learned some interesting tips. Like, how to make upside-down spiders. Hopefully, you will use these for your own. So you can have entertaining mobs in your world. Uh, leave a few likes. Uh, uh, tell your friends about this video. Get them to leave a few likes as you watch the beautiful sunset with my good friend, Grum the Evoker. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.